What's going on, everybody? Just got back from the show, set up up in Louisville. Picked up a good bit of cards here. You guys will get to see all that stuff. Um, did a little intro a little bit different again, just because I didn't have a whole lot of time to walk the show and get a lot of pictures or video, just due to the heavy traffic. Really, really good show. A lot of people coming through. I did notice uh, a lot of dealers still are a little bit overpriced, not willing to, you know, come down below what we call the eBay comp. And a lot of them are just, I think some of them are planning that they could get the money at Nashville, or Nashville, I'm sorry, at the National. Or they just think the card's going to go back up or somebody will pay them eventually for it. So one thing I did see, but there was a lot of people looking to sell today. And I'll get into a little bit with that. I did pick up some nice stuff. Even did a trade. If you are following Instagram or the Discord group, you guys got to see it all already. So, let's see here. I'm trying to think how I can do this here. Those go there. There. All right, this here is actually for somebody. I picked this up off of uh, Chad who was next to me. He was looking for Paris Campbell Auto, so I picked this up. This is uh, Cora has been working on the Discord. So send that out to him for thanks for uh, doing the Discord and everything and still working at it because we still got to do the trade night and a few other different things onto it. So I wanted to get him something for doing that. So this is coming out to him. He's already tracking it. I really thought this thing was numbered but i guess not uh kind of threw me off but i'll get that out to you on monday all right so first deal was one two missing a card oh three all right so first one i picked i picked another fire mooth up just threw it in end up selling the spectra today of him so we got one of these clearly don russes i haven't really looked at it but it was just a throw-in type deal with what I got today. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see because of the clearness on this. Let me get it backed up. Here we go. So there you guys go. Not numbered or anything, but just kind of cool. Uh, picked up this. Color Blast. Kyler Murray. Mr. I'm going to sign the biggest contract out there type deal. Kind of crazy. But I like the Color Blast from Obsidian, as I've said it, because they're only hobby only. Looks, hopefully it comes back a 9 on it. We'll send it off to be graded. See what happens. But really like it. Figured might as well pick it up. Th this is from a guy that I got to get there early. <laughs> in order to go through his stuff. Otherwise, usually when I get a chance to go, it's picked over. Pick this up too. Put it in a brand new booklet. Car and Cooper. This is from Triple Threads. I want to say it was... Yeah, I was right. 2015. So nice booklet here. Pick up. Let me try to get the zoom back in. Or not zoom, but the focus back. Pretty cool, pretty cool overall. Mm. Alright, next one I had was a gentleman, older gentleman, uh, probably late 60s, walking around. He had a little album, asked me if I was interested in any cards. Well, actually, he was saying he was selling stuff, I asked him if I could see him. So I picked these up. I'm going to send them in. There's a little bit of a crease here on the Al Kaleen, but I just want to get them uh, graded at 18 bucks. Another one, 73 tops. Lou Brock, 73 tops. Hank's not going to go. I just put it in this. The only reason I got, I got, I know, I know, there's writing on the back of it. But I'm going to just put it in my PC for now. Uh, nice little card. You always got the little stains and stuff. And Nolan Ryan, Seaver, 73 strikeout leaders. Pretty cool, pretty cool overall. All right. Moving on. All right, next deal, I was trying to go to the bathroom and couldn't pass this up. This was all like throw-ins, basically, a Killabrew, and this is a Jersey piece action out of them. I believe this was, I don't even know what it's from now. Tops, tops, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to really dig into it and find out what product, but it's got the official little sticker back here. I just, I'm just having a hard time trying to see what that says there. I think it's Tribute, if I recall right, though. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys might know of him, but I think that's Tribute from... Oh, boy. Oh. Does that actually say... Yeah, 2001. I think it is Tribute, though. He also had these, and I don't want to quote these wrong, so I'm going to look here real quick. 1961 Golden Press. 
These actually are perforated on a size, so I'm kind of curious how they... I see a couple of them graded. I just don't know how well they'll do. Lefty Grove, Bill Dickey, and Mel Ott. And I, these big boys back here. These are all 2015 NT. I was just trying to restack stuff so I could move these up here. Let's see how close. Now, these cases they're in are like 20 bucks. They might be a little bit over now. But pick this one up first. Johnson, Yeldon, Gordon, and Gurley. Just look at the patches. They're disgusting. This is an actual booklet from NT. Numbered out 25. Yeah, 25. From 2015 NT. This up a little bit here. Pretty cool though. I mean, to find something like this that has disgusting patches in this big holder already, amazing. Pick a second one up. You had two of them. Believe it or not, there's no uh, sleeves that'll cover this. I'm gonna have to figure something out here eventually onto it. But uh, this one has Amari Cooper, Ty Montgomery. Look at the Aguilar, and then Tyler Lockett too. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Couldn't pass them up since they were already in these mags. They're like 20 bucks a piece anyhow. And I wasn't going to argue on the price with it or even try to go down on it. We threw the other stuff in just for a couple bucks. Because I knew the price of the mags. Last one. That Carmelo Anthony NT Triple Relic that I had. PSA 9 Pop 1. End up guy come around. He said he hit this in Hip Parade. Wouldn't know if I'd trade into it. So out of 25, Zach Wilson, green, up, or I almost said upper deck. Woohoo! Panini black rookie card. Little dual pa color or dual patch color thing going on there. I said, what the heck? You know, I'll take a chance at him. You know, the Carmelo wasn't moving. I knew what I was being offered on eBay for it and stuff. And I figured, ah, we'll get a little Zach Wilson action going on. Maybe he has a good year. I'm sorry, he's a jet quarterback. Um, probably not going to do well. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens uh, offhand. It won't go get graded. These are real hard grades. Um, you guys don't know. Overdeck Black, if I can get this to focus here for a second. There you go. You guys can see all the whiting that's going to be on these. It's it's real hard. I mean, it's probably like a BGS A5 or something. PSA, maybe 7 or 8 on too. But figured I'd get it. You know, move a little move card I haven't sold or gotten rid of and gotten traded and Maybe, maybe I can move this down the road here. So, picked up a good bit today. Really, like I said, really, really good show. Almost picked up a Lou Alcindor SGC7, but the comps were like around 400 to, oh, I want to say like 420. And a guy, I got him down to 450, but I, I'm like, I couldn't do it. Somebody came along and paid it. I mean, it was over um, what you would pay for it. I, he wanted five. He went down to 450 because I was trying to work in another card to try to make sense of it all. But he just couldn't pull it. But that's really about it, everybody. I Really good show up there. Um, a lot of new cards up there. Uh, a couple people I haven't seen in the show stopped by the table. Appreciate it. Oh, I actually found a kid. I didn't take his picture or put him on video. Uh, I kind of thought it would kind of be creepy in a way, even though his parents were there. My buddy was sitting to my or set up to my right. Chad uh, sold some baseball cards to a kid. And he was really excited. I mean, just to be able to get some baseball cards. So I gave him a box of uh, this year's opening day hobby. So hopefully he pulls something good out of it. Uh, it was really great because just to see his excitement on his face and surprise that somebody just gave him a free you know wax box of uh, cards of baseball cards. I believe he said he was a Cardinals fan, if I recall correctly. But pretty much it, guys. Appreciate you watching the video. And I will catch you guys uh, probably Monday for a video. Because I, unless PSA, I can get everything wrapped up for this last bit of July specials tonight and early tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a good, safe one out there. Catch you later.